Breaking news. Gunmen suspected to be bandits kill Federal Inland Revenue Services Director. They just shot him dead on the spot and he was confirmed dead after bandits attacked him. Well, it is getting close to home. The high and mighty of the society are feeling it now. They are now killing directors and very soon, who knows, they will move to legislators, senators, half of House of Reps members, ministers. Nobody is safe, even governors. After all, they have threatened to kidnap the governor of Kaduna State and even kidnap the president of Nigeria, Muhammad Buhari. This is the state of the nation now, and before we give you who is involved, how it happened, we give you just a gentle reminder, please, to like this video, share it among your friends and contacts, and then subscribe to our channel if you are coming across us newly. For our returning subscribers, we do really appreciate you. We always bring hot breaking news juicy ones and compelling content right the bandits they have killed alhaji muhammad kudu lawal he is a director with the federal inland revenue services firs the incident happened while alhaji lawal was traveling to abuja on Sunday, he was gone down in Saminaka village of Lapai local government area in Niger state. Other staff of the FRS who were traveling with him received injuries, but they survived the attack. Well, um, Lawal is an indigenous of Lafiagi in Pwara state who ran into the bandits and the rain bullets on the Hilux vehicle that he was traveling in. Until his death, he was the state coordinator in the FIRS for KB State, Sokoto State, and Zamfara State. Al Haji Ahmed Ibrahim Inga, the Director General of the Niger State Emergency Management Agency, confirmed the incident and described it as sad and pathetic. So reacting to Kidu's killing, the FIRS itself in a statement by Johannes Uluwatobi Ujuola, the Special Assistant Media and Communication to the FIRS chairman said that he was a deputy director who had dedicated over two decades of his life to a selfless and hardworking career at the service. The board, management, and staff of the service condoles with the family of the deceased and prays for their comfort in this sad moment. Muhammadu Kudu is survived by his wife and children. He is being buried in Lafiagi in Pwara State according to Islamic rites. So this is a very sad one indeed, and this will tell you how far the bandits, how far their grip on Nigeria is. They are not joking. They don't uh, do any distinction. They don't know who is riding in the vehicle. Once they come out on the road, they start shooting. Once they jump out of the bush, they start firing. They don't know who is driving in the vehicle. They don't care to know. They just want to kill and arrest many and drag them into the forest as victims and ask for ransom. That's actually what they are looking for. I don't think they just uh, come out of the road and start killing people. What they do is just to kidnap them, take them in and collect uh, millions, hundreds of millions. And a man like this, they should have collected a cool hundred million at least because the higher your position, the higher your rating, the more money they ask. And they are getting the money. They are getting the money. Sometimes the victim is lucky that they will release him. Sometimes they collect money and they still kill the victim. So once they start getting millions of naira 
for a victim. It's nothing new to them anymore. There are no more cheap kidnaps. Everything is in millions, hundreds of millions these days. 50 million and above. Look at it. A director in Federal Inland Revenue Services gone down. There's no more, nobody, is, there's no secret cow anymore. Nobody is safe. It could be a minister, it could be a senator, it could be a director, it could be a governor. That is how bad Nigeria has become. And people are asking, how did we get to this level? Do we still have a president, a real president that walks every day, listens to what is happening? And the answer, unfortunately, is not positive. If we have a president, he doesn't care. He doesn't know what is happening. He doesn't do anything about what is happening. All we get from the presidency is statements of condemnation after the action has been taken. And that will be the end of it. Any action taken to confront the bandits, we don't hear that. How many of them have been arrested? We don't hear that. How many has been killed? We don't hear that. The greatest thing that the government will tell you is that the bandits were repelled. So they will attack and then they will just push them back. And that's the end of it. And that means that somebody somewhere is not doing what is supposed to do. And the reason is best known to them. Either they're protecting the people or they, they are part of the system. In one way or the other, they are benefiting from what is happening. Unfortunately, all we can say to the family is to accept our condolences. And that is where we draw the curtain on this one. But please, do kindly like this video, share it among your friends and contacts, and subscribe to our channel. And we will see you in our next videos.